Plastics made from fossil fuels are just over a century old. Production and development of thousands of new plastic products accelerated after World War II, transforming the modern age in a way that life without plastics would be unrecognizable today. Plastics revolutionized medicine with life-saving devices, made space travel possible, lightened cars and jets, saving fuel and pollution, and even saved lives with helmets, incubators, and equipment for clean drinking water. The conveniences plastics offer, however, led to a throwaway culture that reveals the material's dark side. Today, single-use plastics account for 40% of the plastic produced every year. Many of these products, such as plastic bags and food wrappers, have a lifespan of mere minutes to hours, yet they may persist in the environment for hundreds of years. From the 1950s to the 70s, only a small amount of plastic was produced, so plastic waste was relatively manageable. By the 1990s, plastic waste generation had more than tripled in two decades. Following a similar rise in plastic production in the early 2000s, our output of plastic waste rose more in a single decade than it had in the previous 40 years. Today, we produce about 300 million tons of plastic waste every year. At least 8 million tons of plastic end up in our oceans every year, and make up 80% of all marine debris from surface waters to deep sea sediments. Since 1950, there have been a total of 8.3 billion tons of plastics produced. 6.3 billion tons ended up as waste, out of which 9% has been recycled, 12% was incinerated, and 79% ended up in landfills and nature. More than 99% of plastics are produced from chemicals derived from oil, natural gas, and coal, all of which are dirty, non-renewable resources. If current trends continue, by 2050 the plastic industry could account for 20% of the world's total oil consumption. High-income countries generate more plastic waste per person, but waste is managed well, thus a small leak into nature. Countries with poor waste collection and management cause more ocean plastic pollution. About half of all of the plastic waste that ends up in the ocean comes from just five countries. China, Indonesia, Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. As plastic is less expensive, it is one of the most widely available and overused items in the world today. Rapid urbanization and population growth increase the demand of cheap plastics. Since it is an affordable and durable material, it is utilized in every possible way, from packaging materials to plastic bottles and containers. The disposal of plastic is often mismanaged. It ends up in landfills. This may sound a bit confusing, but because plastic is meant to last, it is nearly impossible to break down. When plastic is dumped in landfills, it interacts with water and forms hazardous chemicals. When these chemicals seep underground, they degrade the water quality. Burning plastic is incredibly toxic and can lead to harmful atmospheric conditions and deadly illnesses. Even recycling doesn't cut down on plastic due to significant processing difficulties such as low melting point, which prevents contaminants from being driven off during heating and reprocessing. Processing. Most recycled plastics are subsidized below the cost of raw materials by various deposit schemes, or the recycling is simply mandated by government regulations. Recycling rates vary dramatically from country to country, with only northern European countries obtaining rates greater than 50%. In any case, recycling does not really address plastic pollution, since recycled plastic is properly disposed of, whereas plastic pollution comes from improper disposal. On January 1, 2018, China stopped accepting used plastic for recycling. It did this because most of the recyclables received from other countries like the U.S. were contaminated, which overwhelmed China's recycling facilities and threatened its environment. As a result, many governments have simply ended their recycling programs. The process of recycling plastic can also lead to plastic irritants being released in a number of ways. Most of the plastic trash in the oceans flows from land. Trash is also carried to sea by major rivers, which act as conveyor belts, picking up more and more trash as they move downstream. Once at sea, much of the plastic trash remains in coastal waters, but once caught up in ocean currents, it can be transported around the world. Once in the ocean, it is difficult, if not impossible, to retrieve plastic waste. If current trends continue, our oceans could contain more plastic than fish by 2050. Once at sea, sunlight, wind, and wave action break down plastic waste into small particles, often less than one-fifth of an inch across. These so-called microplastics are spread throughout the water column. They have been found in every corner of the globe, from Mount Everest, the highest peak, to the Mariana Trench, the deepest trough. Microplastics are breaking down further into smaller and smaller pieces. Plastic microfibers, meanwhile, have been found in municipal drinking water systems and drifting through the air. Millions of animals are killed by plastics every Every year, from birds to fish to other marine organisms. Nearly 700 species, including endangered ones, are known to have been affected by plastics. Nearly every species of seabird eats plastics. Most of the animal deaths are caused by entanglement or starvation. Seals, whales, turtles, and other animals are strangled by abandoned fishing gear or discarded six-pack rings. Microplastics have been found in more than 100 aquatic species, including fish, shrimp, and mussels destined for our dinner plates. Plastics have also been found to have blocked digestive tracts or pierced organs, causing death. Stomach so packed with plastics reduce the urge to eat, causing starvation. Plastics have been consumed by land-based animals, including elephants, hyenas, zebras, tigers, camels, cattle, and other large mammals, in some cases causing death. Tests have also confirmed liver and cell damage and disruptions to reproductive systems, prompting some species, such as oysters, to produce fewer eggs. New research shows that larval fish are eating nanofibers in the first days of life, raising new questions about the effects of plastics on fish populations. Greenhouse gas emissions from the plastic life cycle threaten the ability of the global community 
to keep global temperature rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius. Invisible plastic has been identified in tap water, beer, salt, and are present in all samples collected in the world's oceans, including the Arctic. Several chemicals used in the production of plastic materials are known to be carcinogenic and to interfere with the body's endocrine system, causing developmental, reproductive, neurological, and immune disorders in both humans and wildlife.